Right, this is part two of Wara Wong, Wong on the Darling. It's just a map there showing camping areas, things like that. We'll step outside and it's a beautiful summer's day. You can see the sun reflecting off the roof at the camp kitchen. Some of the people have already left the self-contained units. And likewise, a couple of the early campers that left too. We'll go and see what's happening. This is the amenities block coming up here. Now, the amenities block. Some people camp outside. Out in the open. Doesn't really worry them. Might have there's mosquitoes around. So you've got the amenities block here. This is the laundry that you can use. Cold wash only, washing machine, a couple of dryers and a sink. I've got a notice board and the amenities block there. I'll go for a walk across and have a look at the camp kitchen. You may have heard in the background there, we've still got um, some backpackers around. It's the powered camping area coming up here. Combination of uh, sleep on the ground like the backpackers or drive your Winnebago. It's a camp kitchen coming up here now. Well equipped barbecue, fridge, microwave, pizza oven. It's open to 10 o'clock each night. Once you pay your fee, everything in the camp kitchen is free. So let's have a look in the camp kitchen. Nice fridge, sink, toaster, and the Darling River, the background here. A few ducks down on the Darling River. It's supposed to be a flow of water coming down in the next few months. It's if the water hasn't all been sold to the Chinese, like most things in Australia. Very, very hard to find out who owns the water in Australia. Very, very hard. I contacted Melinda Pavey, the Minister for Water, because she screamed out in Parliament, you can find out now. No, you can find out. If you know all the details, they'll just confirm them for you. And, of course, they charge you administration fee. So we don't really have any idea who owns the water in Australia. Apart from the fact that the farmers, the majority, don't get the water. It's all owned by overseas entities. There's no example of mismanagement by the politicians in Australia, but they're probably no different to any other politicians. They're only interested in one person, and that's themselves. Having done our political commentary for the morning, we'll show you the last bit around here at Warrawong on the Darling and invite you to perhaps come along and stay. That's the amenities building there and more cabins over there. We've got family staying, we've got men doing yoga in the background there. So nice place to stay out, out of Coonabarabran, sorry, out of Will Kenya. Hit the subscribe button and come and enjoy a nice Western New South Wales camping caravan or cabin experience.